Hello and welcome back to my channel. You know, I have always loved the oceans. Just the sound of the waves can just put me to sleep. And I've loved them since I was a little kid, collecting shells in them, fishing in them, swimming in them, swimming under them, boating across them, even sailing above them on a parasail. There's just something about the ocean. I've been to the Atlantic Ocean, the Mediterranean Sea, and the Pacific Ocean. And there's just something about freedom of being out on the water. It's both exhilarating and even a little scary, never knowing if you've got a shark or a whale or some giant squid underneath you. But I just love being out on the water. But with all the things I've done out on the sea, the one thing I have never done is voyage inside a submarine. Which leads us now to our story about the German submarine from World War II, the U-Boat 505. These submersible weapons of war wreaked havoc on shipping lanes during the war. Until one fateful day when that submarine was captured by the U.S. Navy. June 4th, 1944 was the day the U.S. Navy bagged the prize. According to the museum, after its capture, the submarine was towed all the way to Chicago. This covered 3,000 miles through 28 locks on the St. Lawrence Seaway and through four of the five Great Lakes. The U-505 arrived in Chicago and Lake Michigan on June 26, 1954, only to face another major hurdle, an 800-foot overland trip from Lake Michigan to the museum. For many years, this submarine sat outside the Museum of Science and Industry in Chicago as a tourist attraction, until eventually it was decided to move it inside to its current home, located within inside the museum. The construction technology used to move the submarine into its location now is just a modern marvel in itself. Hey, come with me and take a virtual tour as we explore the inside of the submarine, check out the technology from back in the 1940s for this vessel, as well as the crew amenities. Thank you for joining me, and if you're ever in Chicago, stop by the Museum of Science and Industry and see the sub for yourself, along with some outstanding, great displays they have there. When I was there back in December, we saw Pompeii. I saw the uh, coal mine for the first time. I had never been down there. That is a great tour in itself. So until the next video, see you then.